Let's plot each of these points and then decide which quadrant each lies in. For example, A is the point with coordinates 6, negative 2. So we start at the origin. Remember, this is the x-coordinate. It tells us how many units to move left or right. From there, this is the y-coordinate. It tells us how many units to move up or down. So we'll start at the origin, 6 units to the right. From there, 2 units down. Origin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units to the right, and then 2 units down. This is point A. Where does point B lie? That start at the origin. That would be 4 units to the right, and then 0 units up or down. So start at the origin. 1, 2, 3, 4 units to the right, 0 up or down. And then C has coordinates negative 1, 6, so we'll start at the origin. We'll move one unit to the left from there, six units up. Start at the origin, one unit to the left, one, two, three, four, five, six units up. There is point C. Point A lies in quadrant. Now remember how we number the quadrants. Quadrant 1, quadrant 2, this is quadrant 3, and this is quadrant 4. So point A lies in quadrant 4, point C lies in quadrant 2, B does not lie in any quadrant, it lies on the x-axis.